don't forget to click that subscribe and bell icon to receive a notification each time I upload a new video. Hi everyone, it's Mike here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So it's the 3rd of August, it's the start of a brand new month um, and my mind is already starting to think about 2023. <laughs> I know, I'm thinking and planning ahead for next year. So over the last couple of years, I have um, tried to do projects with a theme that carry out throughout the year. So I've done in the past my volume of the dolls, which was a, an altered book using up as many of my Tim Holtz paper, doll, paper dolls as I possibly could use up in one journal over the year. And then um, last year I did my rogues gallery, if you remember, these ones, um, created a journal for the rogues gallery. And then for 2022, um, I started to do my heroes and heroines journal, um, which so far I've kept up to. Um, so, and as we're now starting to go into August, I'll obviously be thinking about who I'm going to be doing in August over the next couple of weeks. Um, but they've all been kind of collage, um, paper layering kind of art journal pages. Um, the, vol the volume of the dolls was kind of more art journal -y with a paper doll somewhere stashed in with a little bit of collage, but with paint and so that kind of stuff. Um, but I wanted to do something different for 2023. Um, and then I saw on YouTube a couple of people who um, had done um, Momigami. And I think I've mentioned this in uh, a vlog a couple of weeks ago. Um, and I've kind of been looking at YouTube videos where people have been doing this Japanese art of paper kneading, which is what Momigami is. Um, and I've been thinking to myself, well, that's all well and good to create paper and then turn it into kind of like a fabric effect and then use it. Um, but how about actually creating the paper itself? Now, I'm not talking about creating paper pulp and then sieving it and drying it and all that kind of stuff. Um, but kind of creating pages for a journal that are kind of a combination of both momigami when the pages are finished and Franken pages, <laughs> which are pages which are put together, made up using other pieces of paper. Um, I think it was Nick the Booksmith that coined the phrase Franken page. Um, but I think she stitched and sewed um, all her articles onto a page to create the page for the journal. But I was thinking there was something a bit more different to that, creating a page that was purely out of fragments, so torn fragments and then glued down to create another bigger sheet. Now, to do that over an entire year, to create enough pages for an entire year, I only need four. Because if you fold it in half, you create four from the one piece, if you get what I mean. If you take a piece of, let's just use this piece of cardboard, and then you fold that in half, you suddenly get four pages. One two, three, four. It's a basic folio. Um, so to do one for an entire year, I'd only need 12 sides, which is only three sheets of paper, plus cover, so four sheets of paper. So that's kind of what I want to try and create today. So this video may go over into two parts, first part being today, um, and then the second part will have to be next week because this coming Saturday is August's Mission Inspiration. So it'll have to be leapfrogged between two different weeks, if you know what I mean. So without further ado, what I will do is I will turn over to my overhead camera, um, show you the supplies that I've got that I'm going to use to create my um, collage, Franken page, ready for the Mummigami paper kneading thing, if that makes any sense. I'm sure it'll all make sense when you watch the video because obviously I'm not being very eloquent today. Anyway, let's get to it. Okay, so I've got a big collection of kind of junk mail, 
um, well, newspapers, old newspapers. There's a magazine that came um, free, I think, with the magazine, possibly. <laughs> Don't know. Um, but I do like the size of this. Um, so um, just bear that in mind. I've also got some old um, papers that were sent in Happy Mail, um, some dictionary pages, some old Oxford dictionary pages. I've got some old um, Bible pages from a Bible that's fallen to pieces uh, and a few other kind of old bits of paper, old journal ledger kind of paper as well. So just lots of kind of bits. Um, and that's not to say you can't use anything else with all this. Literally, you're creating pages from scraps. So, but back to this one. Um, my original plan was to take newspaper sheet like this, which is the full um, double page spread if you like. I was going to fold it over, glue it together and then fold it in half to create that kind of tall thin journal size. Um, but looking at this magazine, and I've lost the corner there but that's fine, looking at this magazine I kind of like this size and this shape and I'm just trying to, have I got a ruler handy? Hang on a sec. Oh, just run across to the west wing and back. So this magazine is 21 centimetres, which is about eight by just over nine. So 21 by about 24, by about 21. So 21, 24 or eight by nine inches, which I think is quite a nice size for a journal page. So I think I'm going to change what I was going to do <laughs> on the hoof and, and actually use these pages as the basis to do what I wanted to do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to put some of the larger stuff to one side, drop it down there on the floor keep some of these pages on hand. Right, so this is going to be the bare backbones. So this this is um, this is a story about Katie Piper. She was a, a lady that was attacked with, she had acid thrown in her face. Um, but she never let that stop her. She obviously went through a reconstructive surgery and um, now she's a model, a very pretty one as well. Um, getting through adversity. But anyway, so I do admire Katie Piper. I do definitely admire her. Anyway, so this is going to be the basis, I think, for my Mommy Gammy journal. So what I need to do is I'm going to use that as kind of like the size. I'm going to take some of these pieces of paper and I don't even have to be um, exact about it. I'm just literally rip up fragments. And I'm just going to create a pile like you were going to do um, paper mache and they can be as big and as small as you want pretty much and you can use whatever papers you've got. I'm using thin paper because it's newspaper full scap, um, whatever they call the paper type, obviously newspaper paper. Um, So let's just tear that up at random. Vent out some frustration, some anger. Not that I have much. <laughs> Being the kind of laid back dude that I am. <laughs> Do they still say dude? <laughs> oh dear. By their means, the youth. Okay, so I've got a pile, big pile. Right, so I've got bits to dip into. So I'll push that off to one side. So I've got a pot of matte medium. And I'm, oh yes, the lid will come off that one. That's fantastic. And I did have a brush. 
So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to layer other bits of paper all over like so this is going to play havoc with my hands I just know but using that page there as a, as a kind of basis to keep the shape and the structure uh, don't mind if I go upside down wrong way up it really really doesn't matter so this is going to be the kind of basic structure um, of the page and I'm going to just kind of grab other bits So just literally go into whatever magazine or tear bits up, just use your junk journal or your, your junk mail and just start layering bits of paper. And cover the whole bottom sheet. I like that little picture of this little fox there. Look, and you can leave some bits poking through if you want. It's entirely up to you. Sorry, Katie. And then let's just have another piece from that glossy mag. there so this is what I meant by Franken pages earlier because you're using um, fragments from other pages to build up a real kind of disparate image and because we're using thin paper it's not going to be too heavy it's not going to be too um, too cumbersome Pot. That's from a dictionary. So another piece of that over here. So my hope with this is that you'll create your version of this same kind of like Franken journal, and then you can. Do it along with me next year. Obviously before we get started on the pages within um, I'll do a video on the cover as well. Right so you've seen me start to do this what I'll do is I'll fast forward until I finish this front and then I'll dry it off and I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to do the same thing on the back. So, but let me just get this first sheet done um, and then, then I'll come back.
Okay, so that's the first side on the first piece. So what I've tried to do is I've tried to kind of vary the colours around the page. I've tried to include some large text, small text, different kind of directions, handwriting, photos, words, that kind of stuff. Just kind of randomly, as I've been going along, just randomly sticking stuff down. Um, different colours, different shapes, different sizes. So now the trick is, get this dry, flip it over and do the same thing again. Okay, so what you can do, I mean that's pretty much almost dry now, but if you've got the space, instead of drying this off, flipping it over and then doing the other side, what you could do is put that to one side if you've got your space and then grab your second sheet so this is from obviously I'm going from the middles That's if you didn't want to stop or break the momentum you could literally just then put that to one side let it to dry au naturel if you've got like the room to do it or just peg it on the line or put it over a radiator or lay it on the kitchen table or whatever um, and then just get cracking on the second sheet because like I said when all said and done we're doing this to um, four double page spreads if you like um, so you're going to end up with um, with all those pages, so eight sides really that you're going to need to that you're going to need to do in total. So hopefully you'll you'll do this with me, um, so that next year you can have a journal ready made, ready to go for when we start when I start to do the actual pages on this in January. That's my hope anyway, that you'll do it along with me. You don't have to, obviously, but I'll be upset if you don't. <laughs> well, really. I won't really. Right, okay, so I'm going to crack on and I'll see you again in a little while. Okay, so it's been about an hour and a half to two hours. Um, so this was the original page, if you remember. So it's the other side <laughs> wherein lies the riches. So I've now managed to do the first side of all four sheets. So there's one, there's two, there's three, and there's the original first one. So they're, they're, they're touch dry, but you can still feel there is some dampness in there. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave these now until overnight and then um, and then tomorrow uh, or at some point in the next couple of days I'll turn them all over and I'll excuse the brush uh, I'll turn them all over and I'll do the other side as well because I do want both sides doing so that means by the time I get back to the video for next week I'll then be in a position to be able to start kneading them to create that mummy gami kind of effect and then when we're all done when we've got all those um, kneaded and nice and soft then we can stitch and bind them together to create our um, 12 page journal for next year without having that problem of blank page no idea <laughs> what to do because each one of the pages has already got uh, a lot going on for creating a fabulous art journal page on so that's going to be it for this week so I hope you've enjoyed listening to me and explain what I'm trying to do for this journal for next year and hopefully you'll also go on the hunt for old magazines and old newspapers find the right size for you because this one was just a gift really um, that 8 by 9 is a perfect size I um, hope you find something and you'll also create along the same as me so by this time next week um, we'll have four sheets of paper but done on both sides so please remember to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it if you have um, don't forget to share it with your friends and if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already you can do so by clicking the button at the end of the video that's all from me for now I'll see you all again for part two of the um, journey to Mummigami <laughs> next week. Bye for now. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels because without you these videos would not be possible. And don't forget you can access your exclusive angel only content over on my website. There's a link in the description area below. Thank you.